I'm taking it on a test ride and the motor is amazing. The chain line wasn't as much of a problem as I thought it was going to be. But there are still a couple of changes I want to make. The motor has moved up into the frame. So what I want to do is undo all of this stuff, tighten this lock nut or locking ring, and I'm going to probably shorten that bolt. So I need to get a tool that will tighten this up with more leverage. So I'm going to use this tool that comes with it, drill a hole that I can put a wrench into. We're in, we're in. So this wants to be parallel. Nice. So I chopped this bolt that was going up into the frame down by a few threads. So hopefully that's not gonna be a problem now. And I also cut another one to match it. I'm also gonna use four of these spring washers that come with it before I use three. I think four's right for my 73 mil bottom bracket. Here's the new stack. And of course, I'm gonna add some more Loctite on there. To clean out the locking ring. Add some Loctite to the lock ring. So one little problem I'm having this time is that when I'm tightening this locking nut, it wants to move the whole of the motor up I'm going to try and put this sock there. This time I have a torque wrench. I've set to 60. There's the click for the torque. You can just see it's starting to warp. Hopefully it won't slip up again. Go into the frame like last time. So that is touching. So I don't, I don't quite know how you fix this problem other than just putting something in there just to stop it from hurting the frame so much. I have some cork and some foam just to uh, place between them, stop them rubbing. Look how warped this is. Well, I did it up as tight as I could, but this tool started to warp. So now I have this foam and, uh, foam and cork wedged in there, just hopefully to protect the frame. I also want to secure this battery better with some new bolts and washers. So I'm going to take this off. I think I'm gonna try and replace these bolts, add some Loctite to the bolts. I've got another spacer because it only comes with two. And possibly, if I have one, to add a washer. That, that one's pretty loose. I'm gonna inspect my rib nuts to see if they're holding out okay. Seem to be okay. I've had to turn this into this. And so now it will slip in there. Like that. I've also got this massive washer it will fit easily inside this bottom plate. I bought these replacement bolts. This was the original one, but it had a Phillips head. The ones I bought have a Allen key head. It was gonna be easier to do up and they're slightly longer. Don't know which way up this goes. To look at the pins in the battery, a single pin faces down, goes this way. Add some Loctite. 
It's come out the side. Yeah, it's got an awkward hole in it. <laughs> it was a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. You hold it there. Another improvement I want to make is with these brake sensors, you can see there's still a little bit of daylight in between there. So I'm going to dribble some glue in between them to hopefully improve the hold. Kind of helping it in with a screwdriver. So I've got this contact adhesive. Pick it up with a screwdriver. So hopefully that's going to slowly go down into the hole. It's getting a bit more stringy so it's starting to set. So that's probably enough. So this has been drying for 24 hours now. It's still a bit tacky. I can try and cut away some of the excess. Taking that on a plane? No. No chance. No chance.